Welcome back, let's get things to do. Today we're going to play the final episode that Wolves. Wolves? Oh! Yeah. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Oh, he decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them. After a bad accident, they were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up. After all that time, she said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So the little brother got so angry, he killed her. The wolf brothers, now reunited, yeah, followed their rogue mother far into the desert. To her hideaway. Hey, boy. Hey. Hey, yeah. Church of Wisely. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Oh, you're here now. Get up. It's you're so here beautiful. now. Check it out. <laughs> it's 
so. <sighs> yeah, okay. Good call. <sighs> wow. <sighs> That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nana. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? No. I guess... I don't feel that bad about what I did. Maybe... That's bad. Not in this case. It was her or us. You did what you had to do, and I know. I know. She was so nice at first. I can't believe she turned me against you. I'm sorry, Sean. <laughs> no way. We're the wolf bros. Nobody can tear us apart. Nobody. Right? Yeah, boy. Sean. Are we criminals now? No. No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. I won't let them get us. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here. But, we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Hmm. Aren't you too old for this now? Give me a break. Just tell me. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the wolf brothers barely escaped from the coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair deep in the red desert. The wolf brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land. But between them and their destination, lied the evil chupacabra, and they would have to fight it together. Uh, um, excuse what? me, who's telling the story? You huh. are, but it's my story too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, okay. So the Wolf Brothers encounter the evil Chupacabra. And he attacks them. He's very dangerous. But the little wolf uses his powers to crush him. They arrive in the magic land as heroes. Because they have defeated the beast. <laughs> okay, Stephen King Jr. <laughs> You win. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. 
Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. And this place is too pretty. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. My back hurts a little. Activate flashlight. On the way. Sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. This power is so cool. I... Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. Rough looks cool, but messy. Should I keep going? Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah. Now that's a badass superhero you don't want to mess with. so nice and cool in the morning here. Then it gets so hot. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. Perfect formation. What this? Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop! Daniel! Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez! You're no fun. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. What's the big deal? Look. 
Seriously? What did you do that for? <sighs> Whatever. That thing could sting us to death. So what? You just torture it? Jeez. Hey, I won't do it again, if it matters to you. Let's just head out now. I wish we saw more falling stars, or any. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for taking a piss when the only one fell. I know. You tried to warn me. At least we got to see Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait. Does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Uh, where were we? Yeah, these guys are real cool. My legs are gonna... Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why are we going? Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. I'm not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. I hear you. up the munchies. Hope Karen has some. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. Oh, look, look. Oh man, I just saw a cool baby lizard. Looks like a job for our local super psychic boy. Yeah, and you scared it. So, maybe he can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. <laughs> nice man. Hey, I'm gonna go 
go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. And John. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat. Pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Hey. Hey, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. And Canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her, but you know... Well, some parts of the year, this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do, sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel will find our own. Away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna see what Daniel's up to. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steve. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. 
One. Dude, I don't care what they do. That's their life. Huh? Don't be such a buzzkill. I just mean they're cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Hey, artists, come by Joanne's place. We're making wild sculptures. <laughs> Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. <laughs> it's not always easy. But in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Man, I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. Totally. <laughs> Maybe you should keep the same bottom piece, don't you think? Daniel, you know every artist sees and does things differently. Now... Let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Clever. Uh, where is he going? Sean is about to show you, Daniel. Keep watching. <laughs> okay. How about turning that pancake head? Watch this.
Okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? What? Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. <laughs> you did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done mm. for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. No problem. <laughs> that was fun. Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build whatever you want. In uh, you don't want my, uh, my you girl. Have to show me then. Precarious patriot shrouded in dust. Lurid. Oh. Oh. Politics. Yeah, you hate it. Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Super Wolf to LDS Glow Loco. Coffee, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Oh, I'm too beat, and I know. Gotcha. Talking some cool off the grid shit. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. Going to that small town for supplies always bums me out. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're 
coming with us. Ha. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid and play. Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. <laughs> nah. Been a while since Daniel's been afraid of animals. Or anything. He knows he's the bigger threat. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... Mm. ...skills. <laughs> Me neither. But I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. That kind of power is dangerous, Sean. He's a walking weapon. Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but... He listens to me. Maybe I even fucked him up more. Listen. Raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me. Combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. Nah, I used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heart broken. Same for me. We just... Couldn't put our pieces back together after what happened. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. Before she died. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, we can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? <laughs> Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Karen. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a... rest stop. I know. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <sighs> I 
This place is like another world. Don't even know how to describe it. <laughs> I think you just did. It has a unique atmosphere. That's why people come here from all over the country for their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So, how did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone, Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. <laughs> well... Thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. By the way, can you grab your evil little bro so we can all talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Superwolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Sure. I mean, 10-4. <laughs> Hola. Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Okay. See you guys on the next episode.